In today's video, I'm going to be giving you 15 chat GPT hacks to help you improve your dropshipping store. That makes my life much easier. Now we all know that chat GPT can be used in an insane amount of ways. AI at this point has evolved so much that it's kind of hard for people to tell what is and what isn't AI. AI is used from everything in the military to typical household use. AI is absolutely booming. And right now is the time that you need to start taking advantage and using it for your dropshipping business. Now, just so you know, I'm going to give you every single one of the prompts that I use. So all of the prompts that I'm using in this video, you can use for yourself. Now to go along with this video, we're going to have an article with everything that we're going to be covering and talking about, including all of these different prompts. So if you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below asking for access for it. Let me know what you plan on using chat GPT for, and we'll send you a link to it. And with that, let's go ahead and get started with the first item on this list. And that's going to be finding a niche, starting your product research with chat GPT. So for this, I'm simply going to ask chat GPT, what are 10 profitable and trending niches for a dropshipping store? I always like to ask it for more than a few, typically between five to 10. So that way I can have a little bit of a list to be able to choose from. A lot of the times, if you ask it, what's the best niche, it'll probably just give you one answer. So I like to have a few different ones to choose from. All right, so we went ahead and asked it and it gave us 10 different niches. So the first one's going to be eco-friendly products, smart home technology, athleisure wear. This one's actually very popular. I've seen this a lot. Athleisure right now is pretty big. Health and wellness. This is always something that's always trending. This is a very evergreen niche. Tech accessories, same thing. This is very evergreen. It's constantly evolving. Every single year, there's something new. Pet products. This has to be my favorite. Travel accessories, beauty and skincare, home organization, and DIY and crafts. You know what? I like this one right here, DIY and crafts. Lately, everyone likes doing things themselves. Everyone likes crafting. People are starting up their own crafting businesses. So why not help them out with that and supply them with their materials? So I'm going to choose DIY and crafts. That's going to be the niche that we're going to go with. All right. So now we have a list of different niches. So what about products? Now, how can we find some products that are relevant to these niches? So let's just go ahead and ask ChatGPT again. So what I'm asking it is simply to please give me a few trending products relevant to the DIY and crafts niche. Now, I don't have to ask it, please, because it's kind of a robot. It's an AI, but I'm a nice person. So let's go ask. And here are a few different options that it's giving us. So I asked it for a few just to see how many it gives us. So first off is resin art kits. OK, embroidery starter kits, McCrame supplies. I'm not sure what McCrame is. McCrame, the art of knotting cord or string in patterns to make decorative items. Interesting. It even tells you what these are. That's pretty cool. I've never heard of this, but I'm going to have to look into it. You have candle making kits. I've seen this a lot, especially on Etsy, bullet journaling supplies, paint by number kits, polymer clay sets, DIY tie dye kits. Okay. So out of all of these, three of them stood out to me. And the reason they stood out to me is because I've seen them trending a lot on TikTok. And that's going to be for one resin art kits. People love resin. If you don't know what resin is, resin is it's like a liquid. It has two parts, an A and a B part. And when it's mixed after given some time, it gets really hard. So people use this and they put it in different molds to make different types of items. So resin art kits is a great product. Embroidery starter kits. This as well, except an embroidery machine is extremely expensive. So if you're doing a starter kit, you might want to do some type of hand embroidery. Candle making kits. This is also another huge one, especially on Etsy. And this one right here is probably my favorite, the DIY tie dye kits. So I'm not saying choose one of these, but you can really just go with all of these. You can add all of these different ones to your store. These are all great suggestions. Now we have a list of different products that we can start drop shipping. So what do we do now? How can we actually get our hands on these products and add them to our store? Well, for one, you can check out the marketplace over at AutoDS. On there, you can find some of the most trending items in a variety of niches. And best of all, you can find some in the craft niche. Check this out. So right now I'm logged into my account over at autods.com and I'm under the marketplace. So I went ahead and searched up resin and here are all the different products that they're offering or that we can get. So here we have a few different molds. As you can see, like I mentioned earlier, molds are used to shape resin. So we have a few of them here. You have a complete kit, a 17 ounce epoxy resin kit, and you have another kit over here. I think this one might actually be the best one. Okay. So this resin kit includes the gloves because you want to protect your hands, the cups to mix it the little wooden stir sticks and the a and b side so you get all of this for 37.99 with free shipping and pretty quick shipping too two business days all right so i like this i think this is going to be a great seller i want to add it to my store so all i have to do is simply click on import draft 
and it's going to be added automatically to my draft section. From there, I can make any necessary adjustments. I can change up the title, the description, whatever I need, and I can go make it go live in my store within minutes. So while ChatGPT automates the research side of things for you, AutoDS is going to automate pretty much the entire business for you. All right, perfect. So now we have our niche and we have a few different products that we're going to offer. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to come up with a store name. Now, if you're like me, you can have some creative blackouts where you're just not creative at all. And then the next day, you're just chock full of ideas. My brain works really strangely in that aspect, but it's hard for me to come up with things from scratch, whether that be designs, summaries or titles. So ChatGPT is here to help us. So I'm going to ask it to give me a few names for a store based around the DIY and craft niche. Now, you can get a bit more specific and you can ask it to include certain keywords. So if you only want to focus on tie dye, then you can ask it to focus on that. Or if you want to focus only on, let's say DIY kits, you can do that as well. But for this, I'm going to focus on the DIY and crafting niche as a whole. So I'm going to encompass pretty much every type of product that I can when it comes to DIY. And these are a few of the suggestions that I came up with. So we have Craftopia Creations, DIY Haven, Artisan Crafts Co. I actually really like this one right here and handmade hq i really love this one crafty corner store this one's great creative crafts works the crafters emporium this one's awesome diy delights boutique artful 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 and divorce depot wow it took me so long to say that and the crafty kingdom outlet all right to be completely honest with you these are all fantastic names it actually did a really good job right now but if i had to choose i would go with the artisanal craft scope okay so now i'm telling it to simply choose this particular name artisanal crafts co so i'm telling it to use that as our store name going forward so if we ask it for something and it needs to input a name it's going to input this one automatically and then it's not going to give us any suggestions or anything like that it's simply going to confirm and acknowledge what you asked it to do so absolutely from now on we'll refer to your store as artisanal crafts co perfect okay so right now i just moved back to auto ds and i'm going to click on my resin kit and i'm going to take the title and I'm going to copy it for one. It's too long because this is actually my eBay store and eBay has an 80 character limit. So let's go ahead and take the name. And the next thing that we're going to do with ChatGPT is we're going to ask it for a product name or a product title. And we're also going to ask it for a description. This is all going to come based off of the title itself. So a lot of the times our suppliers have some very, very detailed names with a ton of keywords that a lot of times or most of the times they don't make sense. So let's go ahead and tell ChatGPT to fix the title for us to make it a bit more readable and make a description out of that. So I'm asking it to give me a product title and description for and then I opened a quote and I pasted the title in there and then I closed the quotes. Now, do you want to make it funny? Do you want to make it professional? What do you want to do? That's up to you. I'm going to let ChatGPT take care of it. So let's see what it comes out with. So as the title, it came up with premium UV resin, 250 grams, crystal clear resin for crafts. Perfect. We just shortened that down from UV resin, 250G in parentheses, crystal clear resin for crafts, rock painting, molds, doming, keychains, and literally anything else you can think of for this. So I'm pretty sure ChatGPT actually included this in the description. Elevate your crafting projects with our premium UV resin. Our crystal clear resin is specially formulated for a wide range of crafting applications. So right off the bat, it already sounds a lot better than whatever this is going to have, guaranteed. So ultra clarity, elevate your crafting projects with Mr. Resin UV resin. Okay, so as the actual description, they just had a bullet list and that was it. So yeah, I think this already sounds a lot better. So now we have a title and we have a description. You see how helpful ChatGPT is? We can really hack it to pretty much just give us anything that we need. We just need to use the right prompts. So when it comes to ChatGPT, if you get a weird response from it, or if you get a response that you're not really interested in, or you don't like how it answered it, just tell it. Tell it that you don't like a certain part of it or you want it to change its tone to fit something a bit more friendly or maybe a bit more professional or even a bit more quirky. Remember, these AI models learn from you. They learn from what you do and from what you're telling it to do. So tell it to do what you want. Be specific. Now, this title is really good, but let's see if it can give us a couple of different ones. So now I'm just asking it to give me a few title variations. And this is what it gives me. So high quality UV resin, 250G or grams, crystal clear formula for crafts, fast curing UV resin, crystal clear formula for crafting, UV resin kit, premium UV resin, crafter's choice UV resin, and a little description next to it. So these are all very good and they're very similar. So if we do want to change something on this, let's say 
So I kind of wanted to have a different tone. So I'm telling it to make it sound a bit more quirky because let's say my store is going to be fun. It's going to be a quirky store. It's not going to be too professional or too serious. And I'm also telling it to change the second part of it. I don't like the 250G crystal clear formula for crafts or anything that's on the second part. I wanted to change that and let's see what it comes up with. Perfect. So magic in a bottle, 250G of UV resin for crafting wonderlands. Okay, somewhat similar. Glow up your crafts, 250G of UV resin for crafting radiant wonders. Crafting wizards unite, that's interesting. The secret ingredient to crafting bliss, 250 grams of UV resin magic. So it did keep the second part, but we can get a bit more specific and just simply tell it to change whatever is after the dash, let's say. But to be completely honest with you, I'm actually really good with the first title I came up with. I thought that one was perfect. So we're just going to stick to these. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that title. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to run back over to my draft section over out of DS, paste it on here. I'm going to take the description, go to the description and paste it on here as well and save and import. Then once I click on save and import, it's going to be live on my store, ready for people to check out. All right, onto hack number four, marketing and promoting your sales. That's right. ChatGPT can actually write ad copy for us. Check this out. So I'm telling it to write an engaging ad copy for this product with the features using emojis and bullet points. Let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. All right, so this is what it comes up with. Transform your crafting projects with our magical UV resin. And just like we asked, it has a few different emojis to brighten it up. Crystal clear formula, create stunning crafts with exceptional clarity. Has a little star. You got the time, fast curing. I like this. It has the time and then it's telling us that it's fast curing. So it's actually relating some of the features to emojis. Versatile use, cures with UV lamp, Durable finish, let your creativity shine, got the little rainbow next to it, bring your imaginative ideas to life with ease. And all right, I think this actually looks pretty good. This all looks very well. It's very well put together. If there's anything that we want to change, we can simply just change it ourselves. All right, so this next one is one that I think is absolutely amazing and I never even thought about this. You can use ChatGPT to come up with a funnel. Now, what exactly is a funnel? Well, the way that we're using this right now is simply to be able to bring in more traffic to our website in a few different ways. So check this out. So right now we're going to ask it to write 10 hot SEO enhanced topics related to the product. And this is what it gives us. How to use UV resin for beginners. Step by step guide. Top 10 UV resin craft ideas for creative enthusiasts. The ultimate guide to UV resin jewelry making. So how can we use these different suggestions? What are these? Well, what we're doing here is creating funnels. So if you don't know, a funnel is simply like a little triangle shape. Something goes on the top and it kind of just goes down, 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 gets condensed and comes out the bottom. So what we're doing here is we're putting these titles at the top and we're going to be creating content around them. So we're going to be making things like blogs or even videos. These videos are going to be touching up on these particular topics and we can either create pain points within this content within our blogs and offer the solution as our product or offer our product as a solution. Now, it doesn't always have to be about a pain point and a solution. If you look at the first topic, how to use UV resin for beginners, you could simply just start off a video or a blog talking about UV resin, how it's used, and then you talk about your UV resin. So within that blog, you're going to be talking about your product and you're going to be linking to it. So once people are reading your blog or watching your video, they'll see that the link is on there. They'll click it. They'll make a purchase. Hence funneling to your store, funneling sales. Now, I know that some of us are really bad at actually coming up with content, especially doing something as long as creating a blog. Trust me, I feel you. I'm in the same boat. I can't sit there for hours on end just typing up different blogs on a few different products or on a few different topics. It's just my, my attention span isn't there. So that's why ChatGPT is going to do this for us. Now we can elaborate and just ask it to create a blog post for every single one of these topics, but that's going to be a lot. So let's just go ahead with the first one, at least for now. In your case, I suggest you do this to as many different topics as you can and start releasing maybe either a daily blog post, a weekly blog post, something like that, something to consistently come up with new content and bring in new customers. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a blog post for the first topic. So a beginner step-by-step -step guide to using UV resin. And it started writing everything. And as you can see, it's actually very, very detailed. So the title, this is going to be the title of our blog, how to use UV resin for beginners, step-by-step -step guide. Are you intrigued by the mesmerizing world of UV resin crafting, but feeling a bit overwhelmed on where to start? Well, this blog is pretty much going to tell you everything that you need. As you can see, it's broken down. What is UV resin? What materials you're going to need? The step-by-step -step guide. So on here, it's going to tell you to prepare your workspace, prep your materials, measure and mix, 
horn fill and everything else that you need to know and a couple of tips for success so as you can see this is actually very very well structured this is structured a lot better than i could have structured it myself now from here you can proofread this and make any necessary adjustments if you see something that doesn't fit Go ahead and adjust it make sure everything flows naturally and if you know about the topic even better you can add your own input and your own value so as you see this is how you can create a blog but it's not necessarily telling us how we can actually include our product in here so i'm going to tell ChatGPT to include a few spots within the blog article to include a relevant product and of course make it flow naturally so what it gave me was just at the end product spotlights and i don't like that so I'm telling it to include it in step one. The product we're offering is a resin starter kit. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's giving us the first step and it just elaborated on it. So step one, gather your materials. Before you begin, make sure you have all the necessary materials equipped on hand. Why not make things easy with our UV resin starter kit? Now this right here, you can just change it to whatever name you want. And then it's gonna tell the reader a little bit about our kit. So perfect. Right now we just included our product in there. So people know that once they finish the blog, they can use this same blog to purchase the kit. Okay, I'm big on content marketing. I love making videos and using these videos to promote my product. So now I'm gonna ask it for an idea on how I can do that. So hack number seven, hack your social media posts with ChatGPT. So write a TikTok video idea for a store selling the UV resin kit. So it gives us a title. Honestly, we don't need a title for something like TikTok and we really don't need a description. We could just add some hashtags, but that's beside the point. So the video idea, start with an attention grabbing intro, ready to take your crafting game to the next level, introducing our UV resin starter kit. Show quick clips of the unboxing, transition to demonstrating the resin crafting process, feature a variety of crafting projects, include a fun and upbeat soundtrack, so have some music in the back, and conclude with a CTA or a call to action. Perfect, that's one video idea. It's super simple to do. It's something that's very common. A lot of people do it, and honestly, it's very effective. If you don't like this, just ask it for a few more. Now, another thing you can do is if you're not on TikTok or if you're not making video content for this, let's say you just wanna post on Instagram or you wanna post on Facebook. So we can also ask it for a description for Instagram, let's say. So to specify for this, we're gonna ask it to create an Instagram post selling crafts and products like the UV resin kit. And as a bonus, give us a coupon code for first time buyers. And then it's giving us the image. So this is what we're gonna be posting. So we're gonna to have to look for an image or we're gonna to have to create our own image of a vibrant flat lay of crafting supplies, including the UV resin, some silicone modes, and a few other things. Then it gives us our caption, get ready to elevate your crafting game, introducing our collection of premium crafting products, and so on. Gives us a bit more information and pretty good to go. Has the hashtags over here, so that's good. Use Crafty10 at checkout to enjoy 10% off your entire order. Perfect, it did everything that we needed to do and it's highlighting our resin starter kit. Now, hack number eight, create a sitemap for our Shopify store. So if we're dropshipping on Shopify, then we're gonna have a lot of different things on our website. And we need to organize these different categories with the different products. So with that, we're gonna create a sitemap. Now we can have ChatGPT do this for us, so we can just copy the layout. So check this out. So I'm asking it to create a Shopify sitemap for the crafting store with the products that it mentioned earlier. So it's gonna take all of the products that it suggested to us all the way at the very beginning of starting this, and it's gonna create a sitemap with that. So check this out. First, we have the home tab. That's gonna have our little welcome message, a featured products or collections, an about us section, and our reviews. Perfect. Then it's gonna come with the good stuff, our shop. So we're gonna have a spot for a resin kit, then some resin art supplies. And under those art supplies, we're gonna have UV resin by itself, silicone molds by themselves, and pigment and glitters. Then we have our craft kits. We're gonna have embroidery starter kits under the craft kits, candle making kits, and paint by numbers kits. If you can't remember, just go back a little bit. These were all different suggestions that ChatGPT gave us at the very beginning. But as you can see, it's structuring everything very well, including our blog with a few different topics, the about us section and the contact us. This right here is perfectly laid out. I'm telling you, everything that we've done up until this point, it would have taken us already a few days to do by ourselves. And with ChatGPT, we pretty much got everything in not even an hour. All right, hack number nine, creating a marketing campaign. So let's go ahead and tell ChatGPT to create an entire marketing campaign for our business. So the campaign title is gonna be Craft Your Way to Creativity with Artisanal Crafts Co. If you don't remember, this is the title that we chose for our business and that we told ChatGPT to refer to it as. 
Now it's going to give us a campaign duration of six weeks. It's going to tell us do this for six weeks and then try something else. So week one, we're going to do a pre-launch buzz. We're going to create teaser posts on social media platforms. We're going to offer a sneak peek of our UV resin kit and encourage followers to sign up to the newsletter to receive discounts and updates. That's not bad. Week two to three is going to be the launch week. That's when we're going to launch our product. We're going to launch our online store with a grand opening sale with a few discounts. Then it gives us everything that we're going to need to do on weeks four to five, on week six, and ongoing email marketing and retargeting. That's actually really good. Something that's going to keep us going even longer than the marketing campaign. And measurement and analysis. So as you can see, ChatGPT just pretty much took on the role of an entire marketing department for us. Now, one very important aspect to our marketing is going to be influencers. So there's a lot of influencers in literally every single niche that there is. So whatever niche that you're in, you're going to find an influencer that's willing to promote your products, whether that be an exchange for money so you can pay them to promote your products or just simply an exchange for a free product. Now, how do we reach out to them? Are we simply just going to write to them and say, yo, can you promote my products? I mean, we can, but is that going to be very effective? Uh, probably not. It's not going to sound professional, especially coming from a business. So this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to go about it. And this is how actually ChatGPT is going to go about it. So this is what we're going to tell it. We're going to say that we want to reach out to influencers to promote our product or our brand. We're going to give it our budget. Our budget is going to be $200 for this. And let's leave it open for negotiation. So we're going to be maybe asking them to promote our products for $200 and a free product. Write an email title and message to an influencer to convince them to promote the product and brand to their audience. And this is going to be interesting. Let's see what it comes up with. So it gives us our email title, collaboration opportunity. That's actually how I've received them a lot, collaboration opportunity. Or I get an email with the brand name as a subject and collaboration opportunity. And then this is going to be the subject, hi, influencer's name. So influencer A, let's partner up to inspire creativity. Dear influencer, I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to you on behalf of Artisanal Crafts Co., a budding online store specializing in etc. Let's go down a little bit and we can see here's a brief overview of what we're offering, product promotion, compensation, long-term partnership. It's mentioning our $200 budget. We're open to discussing. So if they want more because they're bigger influencers, we're open to that. If we're not, we could just take it off. It's fine. Now, in this response we received from ChatGPT, it's mentioning an email. A lot of the times you are going to send out emails, but other times you're going to reach out to them directly through social media, whether that be TikTok or Instagram. So you can just go ahead and change that first line, or you can simply just ask ChatGPT for an Instagram message or an email or a TikTok message. All right, hack number 11, we're going to be hacking our legal pages. So another thing that is very time consuming is creating these legal pages. So things like shipping policies, return policies, those types of pages on our website that are necessary, but they're extremely boring to do. So our solution, ChatGPT, write a shipping policy for my store, offer free delivery on orders over $30, orders are processed within two days and shipping is 10 days. Obviously this can vary. It really depends on your suppliers, but let's just use this as a general question or a general prompt. So for our shipping policy, it's telling customers that we strive to provide our customers with a seamless shopping experience. It gives us our order processing times process within two business days, our shipping methods. We offer standard shipping for all orders. Estimated shipping time is approximately 10 business days. Perfect. Just like we asked this one right here, we can change that if we need to, if we have different shipping options, we can include that here. Now the shipping rates, like we asked it to, we're offering free shipping over $30 or more. You're going to get your order tracking, international shipping. Right now we don't offer international shipping, but if we do, we can tell ChatGPT or we can change it ourselves. Any shipping restrictions, Shopify policy updates, and that's it. So some of these things on here aren't fully necessary. Like let's say the shipping restrictions, we don't always have to have that. Maybe we do ship to PO boxes. It really all depends on your business. But remember, everything that ChatGPT gives us are essentially all suggestions. Everything is open for interpretation and we can adjust it or edit it as we need. So did you know that ChatGPT can even help us with our customer service? We can go ahead and ask it for a fact page or our frequently asked page for our business policies. So the frequently asked page template. Frequently asked questions, how long does it take to process and ship my order within two business days and receives within 10 business days. Remember, that was what we told it on our last prompt. So I love the fact that ChatGPT does this. It takes everything that we're telling it in that same prompt and applying it to everything else that we're asking it or to all of the solutions that it's giving us. So do we offer free shipping? Yes. If you're purchasing over $30, 
what's your return policy can i cancel my order do you ship internationally and all of these different questions that customers are bound to ask now ChatGPT can even help us understand our target audience better Check this out. So provide insights into current market trends in the crafting and DIY industry. Now, remember, ChatGPT isn't fully up to date up to 2024, at least not the free version, which is ChatGPT 3.5. If you upgrade to GPT-4 and you pay their subscription fee, then you are going to have the most recent insights. Everything that ChatGPT is going to give you on ChatGPT-4 is going to be up to date information. If you're using the 3.5 version, then you are going to be limited to about the year 2022. But don't worry, because a lot of the things that were actually relevant back in 2022 for particular niches is still going to be relevant today. The crafting niche is one that doesn't necessarily change all the time. Every once in a while, there's a few new things that come out. But for the most part, everything stays about the same unless there's like this huge revolution or this like insane upgrade in technology or whatever. For the most part, we'll be fine. So as of the last update in January 2022, the DIY industry continues to experience significant growth and evolution. So a few different things that are trending are going to be things like eco-friendly crafting. To this date, everyone loves to be eco-friendly. Everything right now is going green. So this is obviously still relevant. Digital crafting and DIY resources. Again, very relevant. Digital crafting and DIY resources. Things that you can use to help you out. All of which can be found online. Things like blogs, videos, stuff like that. Personalization and customization. This is something that's always huge in the crafting and DIY world. Tech integrated crafting and a lot more. So as you can see, you can get insights on market trends with ChatGPT, even if they're not from this year. Even if it's from two years ago, a lot of them are still going to be relevant. Hack number 14 is creating a store calendar with things like important events or promotion and discount opportunities. So right now I just asked it to create a store calendar for a dropshipping business in the industry. In what industry? The one we've been talking about the entire time, DIY and crafting. So January, new year, new crafts, launch new year's promotions and discounts on crafting supplies. Pretty cool. Highlight organization and DIY projects for decluttering and starting fresh. It's the beginning of the year. You want to start fresh. February, love and creativity. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day themed crafting supplies and gift idea promotion. DIY projects for handmade gifts and home decor. Let's run on over to June. Summer crafts and outdoor fun. Launch summer themed crafting supplies. Go down to December. Launch holiday themed crafting supplies. As you can see, everything and all of the suggestions that it's giving us are relevant to that time period. Now, this is extremely efficient because this can really help us plan ahead. If we can have a solid marketing plan or if we can have ready what we're going to do a month or two in advance, that's really going to help us actually get things done. If you wait until either the month of or the month before, chances are you're probably going to be too late. And a lot of the times you're probably going to keep procrastinating. And at the end of the day, you're just not going to do anything or you're going to do it a bit too late. So having something like this at your disposal, something that you can use to be able to plan ahead can be extremely beneficial and at the end of the day extremely profitable all right and last but certainly not least email marketing we're going to use chat gpt to hack our email marketing so we're going to ask it to create an email marketing strategy for a drop shipping business in the industry again the diy industry so here is our email marketing strategy for artisanal crafts code drop shipping business i love how it puts this i don't know why i think it's so cool objective increase engagement drive sales and build customer loyalty through targeted email campaigns i feel like i'm having a meeting with myself or with ai segment your email list divide your email list into segments based on factors such as purchase history interests and engagement level welcome series for new subscribers product launch announcements seasonal promotions and sales educational content and diy tutorials post purchase follow-up measure and optimize and it's a pretty long list this gives us a pretty good strategy on what we need to do for our email marketing this pretty much just lays everything out on the table and tells you do this and honestly at this point it's up to you to actually do it so as you can see ChatGPT is an extremely useful tool that you can hack to pretty much do anything that you need it to if you need a marketing campaign ChatGPT can come up with that for you if you want new product ideas ChatGPT can help you out with that if you want to be able to target a particular group of people to offer them a particular product ChatGPT can help you with that pretty much anything that you need help with ChatGPT is going to be there for you so remember ai is it it has nowhere to go but up in the last year it's evolved so much it's absolutely insane typically every year technology is supposed to increase tenfold or it's supposed to evolve tenfold ai is doubling or tripling that easy 
So make sure you take advantage. Make sure you take advantage of AI right now. Take advantage while it's still new. I know it's been out for a couple of years now, but people still aren't using it to its full potential. So make sure you get in on it now. Start learning, start poking around, start using it to your advantage. And remember, if you want a relevant article with everything that I'm talking about in this video, including all of the different prompts, then just go ahead and comment down below that you want access to that article. And we'll go ahead and send you a link to it. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, that means you definitely enjoyed this video. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business. And I'll catch you all next time.